Hello everybody and welcome back to Bloodborne. This is episode 10. Last time, uh, we had our minds blown. Once again, minds blown. Uh, God damn. Uh, we took on Rom the Vacuous Spider uh, in the Moonside Lake. And uh, we now have to kill a baby uh, to prevent some sort of ritual from going down. Um... And the whole state of the world has changed. We got like blood moon, purple skies. We can now completely see uh, all of the um, amygdala type creatures um, that I have been. Uh, I think last episode there was a period of time where I started calling them uh, the great ones because I'm like maybe they are the great ones that have been like uh, like they're watching us, you know, uh, from, from up above sort of stuff. They've got like mystical abilities. They are like all Cthulhu like in nature. Um, but again, um, that's me being very overwhelmed by everything that's in this game. And upon some closer investigation of like items that we have and stuff, considering, uh, we do have, uh, these items here, like the empty invertebrate shell that is said to be familiar of a great one. Um, and like this here, you know, uh, the phantasms, the invertebrates known to be augurs of the Great Ones. Uh, so you can partially summon an abandoned uh, Abritus. Um, honestly, like, I'm assuming that the Great Ones were just literally giant space slugs based on this. Just space parasites. And I think the, those, the massive creatures with the walnut heads uh, are just literally cold... Uh, the amygdala, like uh, amygdalas, uh, plural, I suppose. Uh, there's there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on in this game. Um, all I can think, right, is we are thinking on the basis of planes. What we need are more eyes. Okay? We need more eyes. Um, and I'm trying to grasp so desperately as to what is going on. There are many creatures that have many eyes, and they're like literally taking it, like literally, is like let's turn ourselves into insect people to get more eyes. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's it's insane. Uh, I'm but I'm having such a great time getting absolutely lost, uh, both metaphorically and literally. Uh, but last time we did also journey to Castle Kanehurst. And that is where we are going back. We are going back to the Forsaken uh, Castle Kanehurst uh, right now. And we're going to clear out this place and see what's going on. Um, so what we gathered from some lore notes and some pieces is that this place has to do with the, the vile bloods. So I think Alfred uh, should be here somewhere. And there's a, a queen of the vile bloods. Now I think I read that on... Uh, some clothing, I think. The executioner guard? No, but Lugarius is also was also involved. Um, uh, there's something that I there's something that I read uh, that has to do with this place, uh, and it mentions something about uh, queen of the like queen of the vile bloods. Something like that. Uh, we unlocked this shortcut last time, so we can cozy up right to this lift and essentially head back to where we were uh, last time. And um, take on some more screaming lady ghosts, as there are many. Yeah, we got an item in this chest. This chest gave us an item that had to do with that lore piece. Oh no, it's literally the Vile Blood Register. There you go. So, um, Annalise, Queen of the Vile Bloods at Kanehurst Castle, right? Uh, there's also a Screaming Baby. I'm not sure if the Screaming Baby is uh, directly tied to this place in particular, or whether we are just now going to hear the Screaming Baby everywhere because of the weird cutscene with, like, the bleeding woman. Like, there's a woman uh, in a white dress Whoa, 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 whoa. Been marked with a brand of sacrifice. Jesus. Uh, there's a, uh, there's a woman. Um. 
covered in covered in blood on her front there. Oh my god, what is going on? Um, and I don't know if she was maybe weeping for the child, that the baby that was screaming, or if she's involved, but it was very out of context because we defeated a spider. Um, oh god. And then there was a woman uh, on the moon moonside lake with us as we watched the moon descend. Like maybe maybe when we killed the spider, it like released her, or that's like the sp that was could have been the spider's true form. So the spider could have been uh, a female. Oh my god, I see you! I see you. You're the problem. Uh, so I mean, the the woman could have, could be the spider's true form of Rom. I mean, it makes sense because they were both in the same place, unless, I don't know, unless, I don't know. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot to take in, I am trying to grasp it as much as I can. Um, and I think that does actually play into uh, a lot of uh, me missing things, as I am I'm very focused on trying to pull in a, a lot that's going on at once. Like, I'm not, like, to, to be honest, because of that, uh, that means that I'm not... 100% focused on taking in everything in the environment because I'm also just like, I'm doze, I'm daydreaming, I'm thinking about what the hell is going on, you know, um, and I, I do, I do apologize for, uh, you know, uh, things that I do miss and areas that do go unexplored, um, as much as I say, like, I am trying to be as thorough as possible at investigating and exploring and finding things is I do also accept that there is a part of it where I will miss things uh, no matter how hard I try and explore sometimes there are areas uh, right in front of me um, that I like I will, I'll look at that and I go I'm pretty sure we already checked that um, and I, I just uh, really would like to just remind you guys uh, it's it's very challenging not only playing a game as in-depth, uh, difficult, uh, and intricate as this, but also uh, recording it and making sure that it can be something that is uh, entertaining um, while also being, you know, thorough and concise and being able to word my thoughts uh, and, and talk and engage with you guys. Um, that, that, like, playing the game under normal circumstances is one thing. Playing the game for an audience uh, is a whole other thing. Just pl please do keep that in mind because like I am trying my best and uh, I feel very passionately about the Souls series since I uh, started falling in love with it uh, part way through Dark Souls 1 uh, and I would love for that like love and passion that we all have for, for Dark Souls and uh, From Software etc to be channeled in a bit more of a positive light because um, a first playthrough, a first playthrough is not perfect, um, but I, I really am, uh, I really am trying my best. Um, so I, I, and I do, I do tend to find things and pick up things on like second or third trips to those areas, and I like, wow, that was right in front of me. Uh, like there are moments where I just my perception, where is it? I don't know. I'm too busy focused on something else, or I'm, I'm talking on stuff like that, and. Um, that's part of part of the let's play, you know. I feel very privileged that I get to even share this stuff with you, uh, and I'm very grateful. Um, but just please take it, take that on board. Um, that I am trying my absolute best. I am not trying to speed run the game. I'm not trying to rush through the game. I'm also not just going to sit here and play the game without sharing my thoughts to you. I think that's that's very very important um, and part of the experience. Is I um, am trying to take in every aspect of this game um, and I will be playing the game in New Game Plus almost immediately uh, to find things that I've missed to actually make my second playthrough something where I actually can look things up and we um, and we can go through that journey together of like finding all the things that I missed and figuring out the lore and reacting to the lore together um, all of that kind of stuff um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing through this game 
immediately. And if you guys would like to see a New Game Plus playthrough uh, to, of, of Bloodborne, where we like go through that and do things differently and, and go through that, please please let me know, because I would love to share that with you guys, uh, like genuinely, as, as well as New Game Plus playthroughs for other Dark Souls games that I've played. This is the first one that I've sat down and have really genuinely gone, I think I want to play through this game on New Game Plus like immediately uh, to get more about it, because there's so much going on in this game. So let me know. Uh, rant over and let's get back into the game. Uh, special pistol used by Kanehurst Knights. The Evelyn uses Quicksilver bullets, just as any workshop firearm, but the Kanehurst variant relies more on blood tinge. Lovingly named after a woman and graced with an intricate design, Evelyns were adored by Kanehurst Knights. So it's got a B scaling for blood tinge, which is pretty good. Um, I can't use it because my blood tinge needs to be 18, so I need to uh, level that one up a little bit more. But that actually looks like it could be uh, a lot of fun. That looks beautiful. It's a beautiful looking weapon. Uh, so I might level up some, uh, focus on leveling up some blood tinge because I like I, I wasted I wasted some points uh, on strength. You know, probably wasted some points on endurance too. To be honest, like stamina uh, isn't too bad in this game because it's a lot more fast-paced, but hey, it's a, it's a learning experience. I'm, uh, I'm getting there. Uh, in the same way that, you know, I, uh, and I've done this in Dark Souls as well, is, uh, I don't heal to, I don't heal to full health intentionally. It's not because I'm not paying attention, it's because I don't want to waste a blood vial where I know that I can heal more. So, like, for example, uh, if I lose some health, I can just get it back via Rally, I lose health, I can get it back by rallying. And if I lose a substantial amount, I'll heal myself. I just feel. Ooh, see you later. Oh, you, you lived. It's so annoying. Uh, like, I can heal with that amount. That's good. Um, I'm just really trying to minimize, like, farming for blood vials as much as possible so I can focus on exploring new areas and stuff and. Um, a reminder that you know I have very limited time. I I work full time, and I I try and make these sessions count uh, of me being able to play these games simultaneously and get all the content out. So I have I have a lot weighing on my mind. Um, uh, I also like have a very um, I don't, I don't know if this is like, obvious, and I don't tend to speak about it a lot. Uh, for sake of um, feeling slightly embarrassed, but my my, my thought processes uh, and how I absorb information, uh, how I like miss things and stuff like that, is um, very much a, a neurodivergent uh, sort of way of thinking um, and communication and, and stuff like that. And uh, it's uh, it's it's pretty challenging sometimes, but I do. Again, I, I try my best. Even like wording my thoughts is uh, is quite challenging because I YouTube has actually helped me to overcome a lot of uh, a lot of social anxieties, uh, especially being able to like talk out loud and like share my thoughts uh, on things and communicate with you guys. Like realistically, just remember that I am just talking at no one <laughs> and just imagining that you're all here with me. You know, filmed before a live studio audience. Um, yes. Fifth bloodstone chunk. So um, we all we all process things differently. We all think and communicate differently, and it can be challenging uh, seeing one person's like viewpoint, one person's way of communication in a uh, in a let's play. I, I recognize that. Um, it, it's it's pretty hard for me too. Yeah. It, it takes a it takes a lot of uh, takes a lot of uh, you know steel will to, you know, toughen myself up to put myself out there. Uh, but I hope you guys really do uh, appreciate the, uh, the, the effort uh, that I put into, uh, that I put into these playthroughs. And I, th I think, you know, communication and, and talking through it together and sharing my thoughts and stuff is, is a really important part of, uh, of my playthroughs and I like to have some semblance of identity. Uh, you know, I don't want to just like sit here and be a, be very generic and and give you 
cookie cutter playthrough, cookie cutter thoughts. You know, here's me playing Bloodborne and it's exactly as you'd expect, you know? Uh, that sounds boring to me. Um, I want to ha be able to give you my unique uh, perspective um, on playing video games, not just like Souls games and Bloodborne, but, uh, but everything, you know? Uh, so I hope you can, I hope that you can respect that. That's why I, that's why I work really hard to, to bring unique experience uh, in how I play video games. Because I'm aware that I certainly have, oh god, I'm aware that I certainly have a unique approach to things. <laughs> that can be a positive thing or a negative thing at times, you know? I don't claim to be an I don't claim to be an expert uh, at these games by any means. Um, I don't think I'm terrible. I, I certainly have some dumb, dumb moments, and I own those, and I'm aware of those. Um, so I am more than happy uh, to laugh at myself uh, a lot of the time uh, for my silliness. Um, but I, I don't claim to be a a pro gamer. By any means, um, not terrible. I'm not great, but I I managed to get by. At the end of the day, I can complete the games. You know, whoa, you're headless. Um, at the end of the day, I can manage to you know actually complete <laughs> and get through the games. Okay, we've got headless women now. In the you know in the same way that I played Dark Souls one. Terrible at it. It's terrible <laughs> at Dark Souls One, uh, but now uh, you know I was able to revisit the game and do a goddamn uh, caveman uh, deprived build, you know, and run through and beat uh, Ornstein and Smo with a massive club. Uh, and if I could have shown that video, uh, if I could have shown that video uh, to myself when I first started playing the Dark Souls journey, I never would have believed it, you know the amount that I've been able to grow and learn and actually improve my skills uh, in a, in a Souls-like game is, uh, has been a really fun, a really fun journey, guys, uh, to put it plainly. Really fun journey. And, um, just, uh, I, I'm allowed to pat myself on the back in that capacity, ever so slightly, <laughs> that I used to be much, much worse, and now I am slightly better. Uh, attire of the Knights of Canehurst, a regal piece graced by intricate gold work. The Canehurst way is a mix of nostalgia and bombast. They take great pride even in the blood-stained corpses of beasts that they leave behind, confident that they will stand as examples of decadent art. Wow, look at the detail on that piece. That looks beautiful. Let's have a look at what that looks like. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. The detail on the detail on outfits in this game is insane. Look at the red brooch. Look at that. Oh, that is cool looking. Look at me being a noble. Honestly. Did we get knight's trousers there? You go. Oh my god. God, dude, and with a top hat as well. This is the best. This is the best game for fashion souls. This is a hundred percent the best game for fashion souls. Ooh, uh, what's going on? Now that was just that was just a really unfortunate trio of events. Trapped by one of them, poked at by the other. Stabbed through the back by the third one. That was such an unfortunate, uh, <laughs> unfortunate chain of events right there. But this game is uh, well and truly my favorite example of, of fashion souls. Is um, there's a lot of clothing and a lot of armor pieces and stuff in. Um, Dark Souls, uh, in the Dark Souls series that I've overlooked and just gone, eh, I don't like the look of that. Yeah, I don't like the look of that. And there'll be particular pieces that I'll attach myself to and grow very fond of, and I'll use those, and they've mostly tended to be, like, the boss armor. And the boss armor's, like, so good looking. In this game, every single piece I have come across, I like the look of. I like to wear, like, 
all of it. It looks, uh, it looks so insanely good. Like being able to find, being able to find a new piece like that, and chuck it on immediately, and mix and match all these different pieces that complement each other very well, is uh, is awesome. See you later, everybody. It's been it's been fun. I already killed all of you before, and now I'm out of here. Okay, let's try this room again. With less with less getting grabbed. It was this trio, isn't it? You've got my blood echoes. Oh god. Oh god, you're still alive. No, I thought you died. Oh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the same thing happen to me again. I was convinced that the one holding the candle was dead because I was like, cool, all those hits, health gone, and blood echoes, blood echoes received. Um, fuck me. That's such a, that's such a annoying little trio sat in the corner there. I thought I had that. There's nothing, there's nothing I love more than lost, lost blood echoes. Lost souls, lost blood echoes, but it's fine. The less I level up, the better in your eyes, isn't that right? Because you all just want to see me suffer. Hello, coming through, see ya, bye. Uh, Goodbye, banshees. Come out. Leave you will be. Alright, let's try that one again. I'm gonna try and lure one of them out. So, if I didn't have to deal with um, the one holding me in place, we would be fine. that? It's that high pitch. Jesus. Uh, we got the Executioner's Gloves, one of the secret treasures hidden in Kanehurst, the gloves of an Executioner from a faraway land. Passed from Executioner Father to Executioner Son, these gloves can be used to summon wrathful spirits of the past by smearing them with blood. It is said that the nobles found a measurable delight in the dances of these vengeful spectres. Because we picked up gloves, I thought we could wear them, and I was like, these look badass. These are like fucking gloves with skulls on them, but no, we can't wear them. What a shame. Because <laughs> we have an executioner outfit, executioner garb and stuff. That's a shame. Uh, so we can use it to summon wrathful spirits in the same way that we can also use this to partially summon Precious. What's interesting is it states that it uses QS bullets. So if I was to get my arcane up, which we're not going to do in this playthrough, uh, because I am not leveling Arcane. Um, maybe in New Game Plus I can put points into Arcane we can have a look into this. Uh, but right now, unfortunately, because I don't have enough Arcane, we cannot use them for summoning. I mean, who knows, maybe we could just do an Arcane playthrough on another character later on in life, you know? Later on in life. Now, where do I go from here? 
That's the question. Where do we go from here? So I've dropped down here. I see a ladder over there. Is there a device around here? got to be there's got to be a way to go from this area though right because we've dropped down here ah oh, here we go a little opening here okay I'm wondering if we can drop down there or whether that's a death zone oh well I've dropped in here now so no way back. This thing? Yeah, nice. Ah, oh, there's the ladder I saw. Okay, so we just had to extend it out. Oh, this is... Ah, oh, okay. That's a shortcut. We came from that area. So I now go up here. A lot, of, a lot more chests in Kanehurst than anywhere else. Warm blood gemstone. I haven't seen one of these before. Blood tinge, oh, blood tinge scaling, plus 13.5, wow, okay, so it's a similar to the warm blood gemstone that looks like that, but I hadn't seen one that looks like this yet. I'm going to have to redo a lot of my stuff soon, I think, because we found a lot more, so next time I go to Hunter's Dream, I'll have a look and see what our new toys can do. I've just been, I've been comfortable with what? my stuff can do at the moment, because we haven't been struggling too hard. Actually, I might just check. Um, durability, 135 out of 200, and 160 out of 200. Okay, so I'll have to make a trip back to Hunter's Dream to repair my stuff soon as well. Oh, it's you. It's one of you. Get out of here. Two bloodstone chunks. Yes! Oh, hang on. That might be where we're supposed to go. Hang on a minute. I also need to level up my, uh... My weapon some more with some more blood chunks, baby. Threaded cane plus eight. Oh, no, hang on. So there's a doorway through there, and then... Oh. Never mind, it all just circles around. Okay, it all just circles around, we're good. Oh man. It's gonna be flying gargoyle peop uh, monsters aplenty up here, isn't there? Yep, there you are, there's one. Oh, you've got red eyes too. Knight's wig. Wig, huh? 
I don't hear any flapping wings, so it might be good to check this out. Is it an actual piece of clothing? It is. Oh, to go with the knight's garb, right. Adornment prized by the knights of Canehurst resembles a ponytail of silver hair. The Canehurst way is a mix of nostalgia and bombast. Alright, we read that before. Oh my god, let's have a look and see what it looks like. <laughs> oh, it's so funny when you're bald, isn't it? Isn't that funny? Look at that. Should I should get one of these. Do you think I should get one of those? They look great. They look great. I wouldn't mind some hair, you know. That would that would be nice. Hair's pretty nice, don't you? Don't you think? I wouldn't know what it feels like. Back to the top hat, baby. Top of the morning to you. Um. Is that where we have to go? Oh. Down, no. Oh, yes. Okay, I think we go down there. Just let me make sure. Yeah, this is all barricaded in. the slowest you died ever that was the slowest death ever <laughs> oh, I didn't know I would slip right off I thought I'd at least be able to walk so I was wondering maybe there'll be an item tucked around here oof that one hurts um, where are my blood echoes going to be sitting now Blood Echoes waiting ever so patiently for me on the ledge. Okay. God, what an interesting little journey we're, we're undertaking here. <laughs> God. Yes, this feels fine. This is perfectly natural. Scaling the scaling the walls. Ooh, got some kin cold blood as well. Well not even from a boss. Interesting. Some bold hunter's marks. They're like, hey, haha. <laughs> you, you don't want to be here. Go go back to your little lamp. That shortcut's nice, though. At least I, uh, I don't have to go too far. This is a bit ominous. our vile blood queen. Maybe I missed the summon sign for Alfred. Oh, 
It's Lugarius. What? Martyr Lugarius. Oh! Holy shit. How many times do I need to teach you this lesson, old man? Oh my god. That was a lot of... Uh, okay. That was a lot. Oh no. Oh. Okay, I need to figure out what your attacks are and what you're even doing. if I can parry that attack, I don't know. A speed boost. What the hell is flying at me? <laughs> Marta Logarius. Isn't Alfred like Logarius's uh, student or something like that? Like he's like underneath him? What the hell? What a great lamp. All the way down here. Okay. Marta Lagarius. Sounds fun. Oh my god, I just dodged right in into it. When we're hanging out near the edge, my brain process was going, I wonder if we could hit him off the edge. And then I was like, hmm, if I stay too close to the edge, he's going to hit me off the edge. Um, and then, um, funnily enough, that exact thing happened. Funny that. Funny that. Eh? Pretty, pretty funny that. Hello. I have come to fix my stuff. Okay, blood gem fortification. Uh, let's fortify first. Let's fortify our threaded cane. Ooh, we can do Evelyn with the bloodstone shard as well, which I'm actually quite excited to do. I'm excited to use other weapons. Uh, let's repair... Ah, I guess when you... When you fortify it... 
it uh, automatically repairs it, so that's okay. Blood gem fortification. Let's have a look and see some of the new stuff we've got. Ooh. Hoo hoo. Okay, let's do that. None of these are better, so we'll leave that alone. And that does arcane damage, we don't want to do that. Okay, we'll leave that. Saw Cleaver. Nice, cool. Alright, didn't really have to change much, so that's fine. Um, so we've still got a bunch of Blood Echoes left. I'm gonna, f I'm gonna start fortifying Evelyn. Because I think I'll have fun with this weapon as well. Consider considering it's Blood Tinge scaling. So we've got plus five, plus six. The repeating pistol is still good, but I think. Yeah, this one only uses one bullet, so that's gonna be that's gonna be good. I like that. I'm even tempted to use this gun blade a bit because it that also has blood tinge scaling, not as good, but it's got C skill scaling as well. Especially if I level these up and then I put some uh, put some blood gems in them as well. Blood tinge scaling plus 13.5. Or I can. Yeah, let's chuck that in there. Oh, actually, hang on. Probably would. Yes, I can put it. Oh, it's actually worse off if I put it in there. The, the blood tinge scaling still only goes up to B. Okay. Oh, I'll put it on Evelyn then. Um. Put some stuff in this one. Skill scaling. Skill scaling plus 12 puts that to an A. Skill scaling. It does blood attack as well. So that's very, very intriguing. Okay, and then add slow poison effect. HP gradually depletes. HP gradually depletes. No, thank you. Not worth it. Rapid poison effect, 9.6. Or just physical attack. Slow poison. This uh, this one here, 9.6. You can make this a poison. Poison gun blade. Nice. Alright. I've upgraded my threaded cane, which is essentially what I came here for. Um, just to make that a little bit stronger for this fight. Now let's try Lugarius again. Arter Lugarius, I've come for you! Do not shoot that thing at me, please. Oh! <laughs> Fucking god. Rallying him is not something I'm trying to do right now. God doing so oh that's the AoE attack right yep oh yes that's you then deciding to switch up your tactics right I forget you are yep fuck me oh I forgot to pick up my yep I didn't pick up my blood echoes I don't even know where they are there you go oh they're over there <laughs> never mind that's fine 
Alright, so after the AoE attack, he gets much faster. Old man was hiding his speed the whole time. I wonder if he's parryable then, when he starts getting a bit more vicious. That is why I'm not trying to rally him because it's just going I'm just gonna pay for that even more. Oh what? I didn't think I would be close enough, but sure. I was certainly close enough. I can't even get close to it. Come on, man. I'm gonna need you to come to me. Come on. Get out of the corner. Get out of the corner, dude. Come on. Okay, AoE, and now he's gonna get much more vicious. Let's see if we can parry him. Oh, we can. We can. That's good. We can parry him. Out of the Leave yourself very open there. What is that? <gasps> Holy crap. Okay, buddy. All right, this one. Yep. Does the, the uh, did the 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 flying blades run out? I attack that middle thing? How do we get the blades to... Oh my god, they, they're just never going to stop, are they? Uh. <laughs> That's some fucking... That's some bullshit if I've ever seen it, bud. Oh my fucking god. The fact that he did that charge move and curved around the, the thing I was hiding behind is some bullshit. He goes, haha, so you figured out that I've got a parryable move, huh? What if I just do Tornado of Swords?
Oh, are you fucking joking? You're gonna start with the swords. You're gonna. Yes, you can destroy it. Fuck me. Alright, you can destroy the swords. Good. Oh no, that was my fuck. Always heartbreaking when you miss your visceral attack opportunity. Oh that okay. Of course it of course it does. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Alright, let's take this sword out. Dude, his range! Holy crap. Oh, I can't even see you. You got anything else? You got anything else, bud? Except spamming? What the fuck just happened to my bullets? They just curved around him. You're dead, bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, Martelogarius. Oh my god. What a hectic fight. What a hectic fight. Oh my god. Oh, he dropped something. Crown of Illusions? Oh my god. Whew. Crown of Illusions. Let's take a look. Is that a key item or can we actually wear it? We can't actually wear it? Holy shit. One of the precious secrets of Kanehurst, the old king's crown, is said to reveal illusions and expose a mirage that hides a secret, and so Logarius donned the crown of his own volition, determined to prevent a single soul from stumbling upon the vile secret. What visions did he see, sitting serenely upon his new throne? I'm assuming it's here, because look at this, like... This looks like an opening. Um, same as that. So, I'm going to go back to Hunter's Dream so we can level up. And then we're going to come back here and put the crown on. And see, uh, reveal the illusion. That's cool. Marta Lugarius, uh, is no joke with his goddamn death scythe coming in from, from above. Holy crap. Welcome, with you. Good hunter. Very well. Let Okay. Uh, blood tinge. Can only level up. <laughs> Can only level up once. I'm gonna put another point to skill. I'll keep it at 35, and then I'll start leveling. Farewell, good May you find. I wonder if Crown of Illusions would work similar to, like, uh, having more insight or something. Welcome home, good I don't, I don't, I don't need, I don't need that. Uh, Unseen Headstone, Logarius's Seat. Alright. Let's put on this crown and see what happens.
Ooh, the uh, the throne has been uh, restored as well. Oh, I was wondering if we could sit on it. Okay, crown. Yep, cool. Looks so silly on my bald head. the part of the castle right in front of us. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, it does open up. There's a whole thing. I was just expecting it to reveal the like a doorway. What happens if we take the crown off? It does look rather silly sitting on our head. Can we take it off and put on... Okay, cool. Whoa, hello. Oh. Visitor. I claim no subjects, but here lieth our throne. Kneel before us, or get thee gone. Is this our vile blood queen? King, Queen, Baby. These statues. So you want me to kneel, huh? Do I go for the item or do I talk to you first? Inspect. It wants us to inspect it. Choices, what do we do? Okay. Unopened summons. An old unopened summons calling someone to Kanehurst. Like the first of its kind, it is an invitation to Kanehurst, but for whom it is not known as it lacks an addressee. Interesting. I wonder if we can use that or if it has a purpose. So we can either kneel or we can talk to you. Look at that. Interesting. She's asked us to kneel, or we can talk to her. Choices. Such impudence. Defiled are we, yet still queen. We shall not give audience to an ill-mannered beast. Oops. Oh. We shall not get thee gone. If I kneel. My god, are we supposed to kneel, or do we just kill this vile blood visitor moon scented hunter i am annalise queen of castle canehurst <laughs> ruler of the vile bloods and sworn enemy of the church yet our people are murdered and we are prisoners to this wretched mask. What is it thou art in search of? 
swear oath to the vile bloods. Um, no, aren't we? Aren't we Alfred's pal? And Alfred is supposed to be uh, hunting down the vile bloods, right? So this is my perfect opportunity to end your life and fulfill Alfred's uh, quest. Can I sit on the chair next to you? We shall not get you gone. Alright, well I'm I'm the king now, lady. So see this? See this crown? That means I am the king. Uh, I'm pretty sure we either have the choice to join, which means we will probably make an enemy of Alfred, right? Or we kill her, and Alfred, our best friend, says, Well done, you killed the Queen of the Vilebloods. Well, there's always another playthrough to find out what happens if we join the Vilebloods instead. Hello, uh, I'm here on behalf of Alfred. Uh, we're best boys. I haven't spoken to him twice, but, uh, be gone. How sad this is. If only our life was so easily forfeit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no! We shall get thee. Oh. Art thou brave, or merely lacking in wit? <laughs> it matters not. Our flesh is undying. Speak thy mind. Oh, what the fuck? That's so weird. Undying flesh, huh? We need to do something with... I th we need to do something with this. Uh, with the unopened summons, right? We've picked it up. And it's an invitation, but to, for whom it is not known. Do we need to give it to someone? Do we need to give it to someone? I do not know. Uh, I guess for now we leave. And maybe we'll just need to find someone to give the old summons to. And then maybe they'll go... Maybe we give it to Alfred. And then he can go to Castle Kanehurst. I would have just assumed he would have had a summon sign here. Uh, but we didn't see one, so... How bizarre. How interesting. So we had a little, little outside throne to guard the Queen of the Vilebloods. Uh, let's go... See, let's go see if we can find Alfred where he last was. He might have moved, which is unfortunate because I have no idea where to find people. Um, but where was he? Um, uh, cause he was nearby. Pretty sure, pretty sure we go to find him from the Cathedral Ward, at least where he was before, so we'll see if he's there. If not, then I have no idea, and then we just have to call Kanehurst quits, unless we want to join the Vilebloods, which I'm not, I'm not sure if I want to do that. So, ooh, old lady's back. She got more sedatives for me. <laughs> Ah, oh. Wakamandi. You've been very, very patient. Here you are. This will help you forget. Forget your troubles. Forget your cares. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> Welcome home, dear. What's wrong? Anything you'd like to tell me? Oh, my. Oh, my. No! Only one sedative. Oh, that's gonna be tough, isn't it? Ah, 
passing through your disciple. I did not learn from books. No, 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 no. I learned it all with my own mind. We spin a web, huh? Ah, your lies spin a web, passing through. I did not learn. I learned it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, dude, honestly, I just think no matter where you send these people, they all go either crazy or they get turned into an alien or something. Like, what the hell? <laughs> it doesn't matter where you send people in Bloodborne, they just. everyone goes nuts. There ain't no more Sylvianum. Yarnum's done for. Um, I need to find Alfred. I also need to see if we can find the key to the door to, to that place up there to the to the workshop so I'll need to check out some previously explored areas. Hello. I need to check out some previously explored areas again to see if we can find a key. I think like, there's more to that area for sure. Uh, I actually wonder because we, we haven't actually checked on our villagers um, since we uh, since the sky turned purple. So I'll also have to check out uh, knock on the doors of our lovely villagers who never wanted a safe place and see what's happened with them. Hang on, the light's still on for this dude. And we, he already went to the, uh, he already went to the chapel, right? Oh, no response, but the light's still on. Okay, he left his light on. Interesting. wonder if that's like a visual bug. Because I would have thought. Yeah, the lights go off when they move. Response, huh? This town's finished. Alright, we just have no responses at this point, so I guess everyone's like turned into beasts and they've just like left or something like that. Um, interesting. I went the wrong way to go to Alfred. Let's hope that he's still there, otherwise this journey is for is for naught. Yeah, I've totally gone the wrong way to get to I'm supposed to go through that doorway. I just dropped down. Let's through this way. Ah, uh, yes, he's still here. Okay. Good to see you safe. 
Now, let's think up something to discuss. Just tell me what piques your interest. Yeah. Yes, it is. Because I... Yes. Good. All right. So we can give him the unopened summons to continue the Kanehurst stuff. Great. I was like, this has to go to someone. I can think of no one else but Alfred considering his ties to the Vilebloods. I hope this doesn't mean that we're going to summon him to Kanehurst and he's going to end up pledging himself to the Vilebloods. Aha. Is that... The sigil of Kanehurst? I've heard tell of Kanehurst nobles and their amusingly pompous invitations. Wonderful. I thank you profusely. I will depart immediately, but first, a token of my gratitude. Wheel Hunter Badge. Church Bow Mail. Ah, I feel my master's hand at work. Praise the good blood. And let us cleanse these tarnished streets. But his, um, his master ended up, like, putting on the crown and, de like, almost, like, defending the queen, right? So I think he's going to find nothing but disappointment when he goes there. Um, I'm also wondering, because we joined the, uh, joined the, we signed, did an oath uh, for the League. We haven't seen that guy pop up again. So I might look for him. Confederates of the League. Obviously oaths seem to be tied to covenants, which are online stuff, so I'm not really expecting anything. Um, but, you know. It has been an honor, but I must say goodbye. Let us cleanse these tarnished streets. And may the good blood guide your way. Cool. Okay. I'm very glad that this is going somewhere uh let's run back to the lamp uh so we can go back to canehurst let's see what follows i don't think i uh, i've been able to do any <laughs> npc quest line in this game uh at all so I, I, I'm grateful that at least something's going on with this dude, uh, whatever it is. So that feels great because like, like we have not <laughs> really done much. We helped uh, Hunter must hunt woman. I mean, we've brought people to the chapel. I, I don't know what they're doing though. This guy's useless. Uh, grandma actually turned out to be quite nice. She gave us the sedatives. She thinks we're her son. Uh, this lady's gone insane after giving us some blood. Um, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, but this one Alfred guy, we've actually been able to do something, which is, which is great. So let's return to Hunter's Dream, and then go back to Castle Kanehurst. Yeah, all the uh, all the quest lines in this game are super super obscure, way more than uh, way more than what I'm used to. So, if I can get something, I'd like to think that's a, a, a small success. Now, Just assuming that he'll be right at the end if we just travel back, right? Master, look! I've done it! I've done it! I smashed and pounded and grounded this rotten siren into fleshy pink pulp! There, you filthy monstrosity! What good's your immortality now? Try stirring up trouble in this sorry state! All mangled and twisted, with every inside on the outside for all the world to see. <laughs> Whoa, that's a wheel. Oh yeah, I should have taken that to the Hunter's Dream. Holy shit. Hey. Hey man. Um. Hey. Holy shit. Uh, holy shit. It's Pyramid Head. My god. Look at what you did. Oh! 
she's still alive because she can't be killed but she's now just oh my dear lord that's fucked what does that wheel even do <laughs> Ah, oh, you, is it? Look at this. Thanks to you, I've done it. Well, isn't it wonderful? Now Master can be canonized as a true martyr. <laughs> I've done it. I have. <laughs> Bud, you're insane. <laughs> I've done it. I have. <laughs> Ew. Queenly flesh. It writhes eerily. Uh... The remains of Annalise, vile blood queen of Canehurst. What remains? This pinkish lump of flesh remains warm as if cursed. All hail the undying queen of blood. Well, if it's a key item, what should we do with it? My god. <laughs> I... Did we... Did we just complete... Uh, did we just complete a quest line? Because, holy fuck. Um... I guess we could probably buy that wheel with the badge that we got. Uh, let's have a look at... Um, I don't know if I should uh, really do this, but... Uh, I'll, applaud your, uh, I'll applaud your work. You, uh, you, really, uh, you really went ahead and did that, didn't you? Jesus. Uh, let's have a look. Raw. Nice, I've seen that emote get used against me before. Um, we got the church bow mail. How formal. Um, I kind of want to... I, I just have like this, this temptation to kill this guy at this point. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. But look at his, look at his outfit. I kind of want to, I kind of want to see if we could, uh, kind of tempted to see if we could, uh, kill him. And get, get his hat. I want a hat like that. I want to be Pyramid Head. This is a perfect game to do a Pyramid Head cosplay. Get a big old saw cleaver, get naked, wear a big pyramid. Hmm. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. I think we completed an NPC quest line. I want to see what he fights like with that wheel. Oh, and he's got a gun, right? I'm clean white. Holy shit! <laughs> I just want to see what he's capable of. Everyone's got those. Everyone's just got guns with an insane, insane amount of uh, insane amount of bullets. Like how many? How many bullets, man? I could only hold twenty. That looks like it shoots twenty at a time. Dare you also heal? A hunter's grudge is an awful thing. You must find your own way on this hunt, as I have mine. Dude has a literal giant wheel weapon. I'm gonna get this dude. Oh, attire worn by Eileen the Crow, hunter of hunter of hunters. Her name's Eileen. There you go. A crow feather garb. Hunter must hunt. She is a hunter of hunters. Well, hopefully she can help me hunt this guy. Who we've now aggroed. 
when we ensure that the Vile Blood Queen is killed, and then we also just turn against Alfred because I want his cool hat. If I if we don't get his hat, I'm gonna be incredibly disappointed. I want him to give me that. Gotta get the parry timing down right. Oh what? Holy shit! Well, we know how he killed. Uh, we know how what he did to. We know what he did, huh? To grind her into a pulp like that. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, hold on. My numbing mist. <laughs> Holy shit, no, 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 no. You spilled my blood. You bet your ass I did. And you're dead. Ooh. Oh, there's a lamp here. Damn it! I wanted a hat. Um, there's a lamp here. Was that here the whole time? Did I just miss that lamp? It's like tucked away to the side. If it was like hit right here, I would have definitely seen that. It's like that's kind of hidden. We didn't get a hat. Rip. I could have just left him alive. Uh, we got an we got an oath uh, rune because of it, though. The rune for radiance adopted by the sworn executioners under Logarius's command. The executioners despise the impure vile bloods, and no matter what the circumstances, would never cooperate with the bloodthirsty hunters who serve the undead queen and Elise. So, if we pledged ourselves to the queen and then tried to approach Alfred later, he would have tried to kill us for sure. Vile HP recovery up though, that's cool, so I might go and equip that one. So that actually does make it worth it. I was hoping for a cool hat, so that's... Oh. Just, you know, when you... Ah, oh, maybe it'll be available... Ah, oh, it'll be available at um, the Insight Vendor, hopefully. Because when you kill one of them, like when we've killed Henrik and... Um, What's his face? Henrik and... Oh, we haven't bought his clothes yet, so... The, the, the other guy... Um, their clothes become available, right? No! Okay, yeah, Jura. No! Why not? Oh, that's such a shame. This insight vendor really doesn't give you much, does it? All right, what does the wheel hunter badge uh, allow us to buy then? Logarius's wheel, weapon wielded by Martyr Logarius's band of executioners, used to slaughter the vile bloods in Canehurst, bathed in their in pools of their blood, and forever steeped in their ire. Transform to release the power of the wheel and manifest their lingering rage in a show of utter brilliance. God damn. Well, that's something. That's, uh, that's certainly something. <gasps> you can get that! Gold Ardeo, the odd helmet worn by a band of executioners commanded by the Martyr Ligarius. The, co the conical, conical gold helmet, symbol of the executioners, represents luminosity, ambition, and an unflagging resolve to face impurity, staring it down with stern golden spirit. As the great Lugarius once said, acts of goodness are not always wise, and acts of evil are not always foolish. But regardless, we shall always strive to be good. Damn it. 
I didn't even need to kill him to get this hat. It was just part of the badge. Oh well. We also got a cool rune out of it. Two birds, two birds with one stone. We are uh, vile blood queen and Alfred <laughs> both dealt with. I don't know. This seemed kind of the the vile blood hunters have got to have fucking evil and mad at the end of there. It's like when he was literally just going insane. I need six, 60,000 souls for a pointy hat so I can be pyramid head. God damn it. We're going to save up for it. Uh, my god. Uh, let's do this. Let's change over some oaths. File HP recovery. I'll take it. Oh, we got a better version of the air one that I didn't even notice. Uh, we'll gain us more blood echoes. I could have put that on the whole time. Let's do that. Um, we also got a better metamorphosis that gives us 10% more HP. I might go for that. And then we'll keep, we'll keep Moon. Moon, Clockwise Metamorphosis, and Air, and Radiance. Love it. Compare our thre threaded can, compare saw cleaver. Um, wonderful. Okay, Kanehurst Kane Castle uh, is uh, is complete. So that leaves us to once again go through. Um, leaves us once again to go through Yahagul. Um, Queen's Chamber. Um, I really do want to check out Erden Chapel some more. I need to get that key to open that door because it's locked. Uh, so I am going to take a look around to see if I can find that key into some previous areas. I mean, who knows? It could be in the Forbidden Woods. I know that we didn't fully explore the Forbidden Woods as much. I'm stronger now, so that should be uh, less of a pain. Uh, so I'm going to go back through some previous areas again, do my old search, see what I can find uh, with the time that I have, see if we can turn up this key uh, and check out Erden Chapel some more. Uh, this was this was very unexpected. I literally wasn't even uh, paying attention to my screen, so there was no reaction <laughs> to be had. Uh, I just spawned at Central Yarnum uh, Bonfire, and we got attacked by the dude who broke out of <laughs> here, which is, is such a shame. We could have we could have sent. Actually, no. We couldn't have sent him to Erden Chapel because he probably would have eaten everyone, and we couldn't have sent him to Yosefka's clinic because Yosefka would have just turned him into an alien. This guy was uh, unfortunately fucked from the start. Yeah, but yeah, I literally just teleported here, and I was like, oh yeah, you know, just teleport here. I was just checking something on my phone, and then I look up and I'm being literally like eaten <laughs> uh, by a beast. Uh, so. There you go. Uh, I'm wondering if similar things may have happened uh, to other windows in this area. A lot of them are just literally uh, uh, by Erden Chapel, no response. Um, so we could certainly take a look down here and check. Um, I love that we've opened up a shortcut from here to. Um, I love that we've opened up a shortcut from here to the Forbidden Woods again, like down here, so that's really cool. So I can go back through there if I want, but let's have a look at these doors. Just to see if we can get any dialogue. Starting my long journey to get a key that I have no idea where it is. The joys. I actually kind of like um, trying to look for one specific item where, when I don't know where it is and then I go back through previous areas because then I I find stuff that I didn't see before when I was trying to, you know, combat really difficult enemies. Bruh. Thank you. Uh, so I, I don't mind it. It's also just fun to really take in the, the sights and the amazing visuals of this game. Yeah, okay. I'm assuming that we're just going to have no response uh, for pretty much all of these doors, and the only one that actually gave us anything uh, was our very first door that we knocked on. This tale 
round's finished. Where's the guy that tells us to go and then get sort off? He's up here, isn't he? I oh, know he's not. Hang on. Where? Where is he? I've totally forgotten where the hell this other dude is. Is he back this way? Oh, he's up here, isn't he? Yes. Oh, he's right here. Okay, yeah, no response. Alright, well, I've got attacked by one beast, surprisingly. Um, and I just thought I would showcase that I have encountered him now, which is unfortunate for him. My, my journey through... God damn, look at that. My journey through Blood Moon <laughs> begins. The light is on at this window uh, where the, the little girl was. Ah. Uh, you haven't by any chance seen my little sister, have you? I told her to look after the house. But she's run off somewhere. She's still quite small. And wears a big white ribbon... Have you seen her out there anywhere? Hand over red messenger ribbon. Oh, wow. Where did we get the red messenger ribbon? Oh, no. Was that the... Was that the item that we found and that's why she didn't go to Erden Chapel because we found a red messenger ribbon somewhere and that's supposed to signify she didn't make it oh man oh, how did this happen why would she ever go outside no idea and so I oh, beats me at least I have something to remember her by damn why is she okay? And how? Where was? She, where was this? Where was this girl who's now suddenly here? Once everything goes to crap. That is sad. Oops. Uh, I'm guessing that means we now no longer have the. We have bloody ma yeah. We no longer have okay. Interesting. Apparently, she was wearing a white one though. Oh, it's red because it's covered in blood. That makes sense. It's red because it's covered in blood. It's no longer white. What That's is... what a perfect ribbon, and now it's mine. What? Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, what a perfect ribbon, and now it's mine. What the hell is going on? That's bizarre. Okay. Uh... Not sure what's going on there. Imagine the dog just never getting hit out of that whole thing. That's how awful dogs hitboxes are. <laughs> My god. Hmm. I'm not sure what to I'm not sure what to make of that. You have the same exact same attack speed as these beasts, so you just keep exchanging attacks. Good opportunity for a blood vial farm. Oh so, minimal, very minimal changes to uh, NPCs uh, in this area. So, uh, one of them has turned into a beast. We actually have the oldest, uh, oldest sister of another one pop up. Um, but everyone else is no response. Which is uh, which is very curious. Very curious. Okay. Uh, I think I've explored what I can of this area, so we'll be moving into the next area. 
hopefully I can find this find this key. I'm actually wondering if maybe we haven't even been to an area that's supposed to have the key. Uh, like if we've been to an area that actually has the key, because I'm not sure. Obviously, we don't know where it is, so I'm running around trying to find it. Um, so I could even backtrack through the Forbidden Woods first. It seems more likely that it might be in a more recent area that we've uh, we've traversed through. Uh, so I might check out. Uh, we might go back through Forbidden Woods, see what we can find there. If not, it could be in Yahagul. Um, I have time. I have time to explore previous areas, and we're going to see what we can find. I totally forgot about this gate that we could run through when the dude summoned the dogs. Oh. Okay. And NPC in there is now gone crazy. Uh, so we're gonna kill these dogs. So we can then try and sprint through. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my god. I didn't even see that there was a whole area here. Just behind the house. Oh. Is this right behind the gate? Oh, we didn't even need to... I was going to try and sprint to beat him through the through the gate. <laughs> ah, wonderful. Okay, there's a whole... Now this is how we get here up to the fucking Molotov throwing dudes. Okay, great. Alright, hold on, let's go up here. Very simple pathway right around a corner that I've missed, leading to a whole lot. Ooh, white church clothing. Uh, white church clothing, let's have a look. That's going to be more up the top, it's more up the top. I always pick the wrong direction every time. Uh, special Church Doctors. These doctors are superiors to the Black Preventative Hunters and specialists in experimentally backed blood ministration and the Scourge of the Beast. They believe that medicine is not a means of treatment, but rather a method for research, and that some knowledge can only be obtained by exposing oneself to sickness. That is true, though. In a way. It's not very... not very... probably... not probably the best way, but, uh, you need... like, in order to learn more about the stuff, you do actually have to be exposed to the stuff you're researching in order to improve. That's how, that's how it kind of works. And I've got a house over here. Can we go in the house? Yes, we can go in house. Beast Roar. Uh, force of Beast Roar repels nearby foes and objects. One of the forbidden hunter tools made by irreverent Izzy. Borrow the strength of the terrible undead dark beasts, if only for a moment, to blast surrounding foes back with the force of a roaring beast. The indescribable sound is broadcast with the caster's own vocal cords, which begs the question what terrible things lurk deep within the frames of men. Wild. Okay, that's the gate. Yeah, I can finally deal with all these Molotov throwing dudes. Get out of here. Beast. Item down there on the roof to get as well. I guess I want to just I want to drop down there. So I didn't I didn't miss much. 
I didn't miss much here. It's like, it's like always whenever it's just a couple of items. Small top cocktails there. I haven't missed much. And then this is the area where there's a giant cannon shooting at us. Oh yeah, this was a shortcut. Right, I remember this door. I remember opening that. Foul beast. Get rid of you so you can stop shooting me from miles away. Enemy still manning the cannon. Yes. Let's get cannon dude out of the way. Oh, I need to get up there. Aw, oh, how disappointing. Oh, hello. I don't think any of this is new, but I do need to figure out how to get up the, um... Figure out how to get that item. Because, like, literally any one of these items that I'm seeing could be the key that I... that I need. Because this just takes us further down. This takes us into this area, right? I remember this. There's an item up there as well. How do we get up there? can't rotate this and like shoot it at something can we? I don't think so. Can we get up on the roof somehow and like jump across from there? I don't think the I don't think that's an option either. There's gotta be some way to get to that. There's gotta be some way to get to that item. Every every time I think I could maybe find a way up, it's blocked. How peculiar. All right, let's. I'm, well, I mean, it's there. I have to be able to get up there somehow. I think I found my pathway. There we go. I found a ladder. It was through an area that I had not dropped down from yet. We have a ladder. Wonderful. That's all we could really ask for in moments like this. Cool. Alright, we made it up. There's an item there. Okay, cool. Poison knife. Is that doorway? Watch it be like a madman's knowledge though or something. Oh. How disappointing. What the fuck? Oh. That's uh that's pretty grim. You don't we don't really see much of that around, do we? You generally see like your typical like dead bodies and stuff that are whole hiding items, but like not a whole ass family. Poison knives, however, um not 
incredibly worth the the journey, but that's that's fine. Uh, let's get this item though. That's just down here. A cannon. Is that an item, or is it a weapon? Oh my god, it's a weapon! 200! 200 blood attack. You need 30 strength. Large prototype firearms fashioned by the workshop heretics, the powder kegs. Use of this weapon is equivalent to toting a mounted cannon into battle, complete with its ridiculous weight, staggering kick, and lavish use of quicksilver bullets. Such a monstrosity was doomed from the start, and indeed its development was cut short. Yet, against impossibly gigantic foes, it might be just the thing. It uses 12 bullets. You can only use it once then, because you can only hold a maximum of 20. Ah, unless there's probably a there's probably a rune that you could get that increases your quicksilver bullets in the same way that there's one that increases your blood vial maximum. So you just need to you know, equip a rune if you want to shoot the cannon twice. There you go. Uh, I made it up here, and it was uh, the cannon. I guess makes it makes it worth it. But we still have not found the key that we are looking for. So the uh, the journey continues. The search did not yield much results, and here we are, we find ourselves once again at the unseen village of Yahagul up the top here. With this lovely gentleman and his lovely cage hat in a, in a town littered with amygdalas where... Oh my god, where are you? Can you leave me be? I'm trying to take in the sights. Where we need to get to that one that has its eyes out, because that's where we died uh, in a previous episode. That's as far as we got. Uh, we died. So we got destroyed by laser eyes. Ooh, Iron Yaha. Helm. Oh my god. The amount of people just chilling, sitting in guns. Wheelchair man. Alright, we got a new helmet. Uh, the Iron Yahagul Helm. Removing the hood reveals something reminiscent of a warrior of a previous age. This headwear is made of metal, a rarity for hunter garb, and has high defense but only against physical attacks. Wild. Exactly the same stats, except it has less. Um. Less bolt resistance. You there. Death awaits. Oh! God damn. Oh, this is a different pathway to the one that we were... Okay. That's why, because that's a shortcut. It's a different pathway to one that we went before, and we know why. first time we've gone, oh, alternate pathway, and gone, oh, no, it's just a shortcut path that we are not ready for yet. Got a cool helmet out of it, though. This threaded cane should be doing much, much better against these, uh, these guys, though. How did he even get me from... Oh my. How does the bullet... Also, just the fact that I'm aware that these villagers just rise from the dead again after you've hit them. Oh my dear lord. I do not want to get picked up by the thing. Actually, what if it takes me somewhere? Oh, that's actually... fuck's sake. That could be something to... that could be something to try, actually. Because the other ones have taken me to two nightmare locations. Maybe that'll take me somewhere else. But I'm wondering at this point in time if we've kind of passed that. Because I'm aware now that one was a tonsil stone. The other one was the Eye of the Blood Drunk Hunter. So we might be past the, the point of these amygdalas actually grabbing us. I'm so sick of how many there are. <laughs> 
and that they're just gonna respawn. This is such a... I love how this is just such a minimal walkway. But there's so much going on here that it makes it painful. Like, we've got multiple villagers swinging at me, and then we've also got the ones with the gun. Just get inside and do it from there. Oh, and Molotovs. Oh, and... Guns and Molotovs and axes and torches and fuck. <laughs> There's so many. There's so many of them. Okay, so this area, I think... This is where the amygdala shoots its laser. So where is it? There it is, up there. Get a bunch of you. Here. What is the story between all the the bodies and chairs? Oh, hello, greetings. You're gonna let me through? You're gonna try and grab me? All right, didn't try and grab me. There's another one. Oh, you really... Oh, fuck. That really messed with my plans there. Of what I was actually trying to do. Take out dude with the chain gun. You there. Stop that, old man. Your gun license is banned. No gun, no guns for you, please. A tiny Tenitris. Oh my god, a little tiny one. Oh, it's not even a weapon. What's the tiny Tenitris for? Actually, we should have probably... Uh, Read the description for this, sorry. Uh, Marta Ligarius led a band of executioners and this badge was crafted at their dedicated workshop. The wheel symbolizes righteous destiny. Their workshop was a secretive enclave of mystical beliefs and uh, heady fanaticism, which served as the backbone of the executioner's unique brand, Justice. Oh, I was wondering uh, what that was. I was like, I'm hearing something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hearing something approaching me. What the fuck? Oh my god, so he's just come back. Okay. I hate that they just come back to life. How do I get that item on that chair? Alright, who's the one ringing the bell? Because I'm pretty sure the bell is the one that's making them come back to life. I, have to, I think I have to drop down from above. drop down from above to get this. Is that body moving? I'm just imagining that. No. Right, I'm out of here. I'm sick of people coming back to life. <laughs> I'm out. Uh, this tiny tenitrus is what I'm trying to look for here. 
Honey music books. Oh, there it is. Strike into the ground to emit blue sparks. Tenitris's unique weapon crafted by Archibald, the infamous eccentric of the Healing Church Workshop. It's a similar Morningstar mace that utilizes Quicksilver bullets. When struck into the ground, it recreates the blue sparks that are said to surround the Dark Beasts. Interesting. It's like a little tiny one that uses bullets. That's so weird. Oh, oh, you're all back to life as well. Where the hell is this? Where the hell is this bell ringer? I'm assuming it's over here. Oh great, you're all just, you're all really just keen to come after me as well, aren't you? Yep. Oh, yep. Okay, where's this person ringing the bell? Because I need to kill them while avoiding laser beam eyes. Maybe the bell ringer isn't. Oh god, the bell ringer won't bring these ones to life because I'm not hearing the bell. I'm not hearing the bell over here, which is good. I just need to figure out a pathway. Oh. Nope, they just keep coming up from the ground. Okay, do, should I just run? this a safe spot to sit? No, that's not a safe spot to sit, but I lived. And I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Actually, we did okay. Oh, I'm gonna die. Am I alive? Where do we go from here? Fuck me. I'm stuck. How am I alive at this point? This is... F I'm dead. <laughs> Fucking hell. Is there even a pathway to go from, from here? This is ridiculous, dude. Where do I go for- it's so hard to be like, I need to pick a path and run when it's attacking me so frequently with that laser beam. Okay, there's a pathway right here. Fuck me. There's a pathway right there, so I, I can sprint right through. This is insane. <laughs> this is so dumb. I didn't know that it's a one-hit kill, because I survived it before, but I was at full health. I've I've survived it before. Maybe it was just because I was on the edge of it, so I thought maybe I'd be able to either dodge through it or run through it and then heal after. But no. And my I just keep pushing my blood echoes further and further down, which is on, only going to end up inevitably having me lose them. <laughs> my blood echoes back here. How interesting. Oh, I got stuck on the fucking branch! Oh my god. See, look, I survived. I, I, I survived... There. I survived in the corner. I'm getting... I'm getting upset. I'm getting... I'm getting angry at these... at this area. This is just... this is ridiculous. Uh, we've got enemies that infinitely respawn, so I can't bait them out to kill them, because they just come back. And a laser that seems to have a very, very short cooldown then I can only survive if I'm on that particular particular ledge on on the left. <sighs> Getting the fact that apparently the trees in the middle are also a solid object uh, has gotten me caught uh, way more than I'd like to admit as well. Because like you just go, oh, I'll just dodge right through the middle. Blood Echo's right in the middle. If I stand here, I'm going to take damage. Just a...
It's just such an insane amount of them. I'm dead. I... Fuck. Like, I can't just get the enemies out and sprint past them because of that, because of that attack. And then if I'm like, quick, get my bladdockers, retreat, run back, there's a whole fucking army of them waiting for me. <laughs> I, I, I can't just, I can't sprint through it. I don't know, do we, is there a, is there an alternate pathway that I'm supposed to kill the, the laser eyes one before we go through? Because that's certainly not, uh, that certainly doesn't seem like it. It's just so odd. So the enemies all over there start getting over here and they charge me. Where are my blood echoes here? Here they all are. On cue. is here. to its laser attack. Now we run. It's instantly doing the laser attack again. It's instantly doing it again. I can't even fucking heal because I'm just getting pummeled by Molotov cocktails. Everyone's already back to life again. There's just more of them coming to life. Dude. <laughs> it's on there's only one pathway down and it is literally being lasered every two seconds. I would like to find a solution to this. The problem is... Um, is I can't find the woman ringing the fucking bell in this area, because it's not this one, because I've killed this one before, and the enemy's still coming back to life over this way. There, I've, I've killed the enemies in this area. There isn't... There is not a ringing bell lady here. So, I'm not even sure if it's the ringing bell lady at this point, which is uh, bringing them back to life. Because sometimes they just come up from the ground without even hearing the bell. the bell <laughs> where
reckon I'll get away if I stay right here? Oh my god, I'm fucking... Oh! Oh, you would all avoid the laser. I jumped over it. That felt illegal. That felt illegal. Holy shit. I jumped over it. That felt illegal. Honestly. <sighs> oh my god. I never have to do that run again. I never have to do that run again. No. Okay. Fuck. That was, uh, dude, that was, that was so stupid. Uh, <laughs> I just hated, I hated that. I hated that. I hated that a lot. Welcome. What is we got a lamp. My God. Farewell, good me. Welcome. What? Very well. Oh. Let the echoes become your strength. I accidentally did the. Si I was wondering why I was sitting down for a second there. I was like, damn. <laughs> oh my god, I'm. <laughs> I'm 80. 80 uh, yeah. blood echoes away. 80 blood echoes away. <laughs> As much as I want to save up for that helmet. Welcome, what is very well. I'll do that after I kill my next boss it's like. So we're now at 18 blood tinge. Farewell, good me. Which means I can equip Evelyn. And now it does Evelyn does less damage, but uses one less bullet, has S rank scaling. So instead of doing this does 210. This does 210, and this does 133, so there is a big loss at the moment. Um, so we're definitely going to need to level up Evelyn some more. But using one less bullet is kind of cool as well. So we've got double the bullets to use. Uh, we need twin bloodstone shards, which we actually can, we can buy those now. Um, I'm wondering if I take this off and we put it on Evelyn. That at least puts blood attack up 12.6%. So we can put that up to 145, so that's not too bad. We just haven't... Guns can only be slotted with one thing. Uh, that does take down the scaling from, a to, from S to A, but we're not really benefiting from it yet. Especially because our blood tinge is only 18. I want to use the Evelyn for a while. I'm just going to use it just to like play around with it. But we might end up going back to... Um, Yahagul Chapel. Okay, we might end up going back to uh, the repeating pistol. We can just switch whenever we want, though. Oh, man. 
back to Yahagul. This time we're in the chapel, so that's cool. So we've got a new new area to explore. Off to the left here. Look at that. That is above. Oh, that's above us. Look at that. That's our. That's our little lamp over there that apparently we're not allowed to use. I know where that is. That's the jail. Interesting. I wonder why we can't use that lamp. Especially considering we're so close to that current spot. Oh my god, look at that. I fucking love this game and how beautiful this game is and my character is flawless. Look at this in appearance. So cool. I love it. <laughs> These dudes just decided to just stare at the moon and go crazy, I guess. What's up? How you doing? Just barely escaped the clutches of your uh, brother or sister or otherwise that uh, decided to mess with me. Ooh, look at the gargoyles on the... Even the gargoyles have the same heads. Look at that. How about that? That's insane. There's so much detail in the environments here. It's driving me crazy. Oh, my... Oh! Ooh, landed on his head. Frenzied cold blood. Alright, I'm keen to use the... Oh no! Not blood dogs! St Stop. Not blood dogs, please. That's a staircase right here. Look how observant I am. Uh, let's see. Oh no, those dogs are going to come back to life, aren't they? I want to see how we can parry with Evelyn. Actually, I need to get rid of you first. Alright, parry with Evelyn. Maybe Big Dude is easier for a parry demonstration. This is annoying the hell out of me. Oh, I can't even get up to you. I will just run away from you instead. Nice. Oh, is this going to be the door to the... Yeah, it is. Nice. Okay, it's the door to the... Oh, it's broken! That's why! Holy shit. Okay. The lamp is broken. And this is the note I was talking about uh, last episode. Nightmarish rituals crave a newborn, find one, and silence its harrowing cry, which makes much more sense after killing Rom. Oh, what the hell? No more kidnapper standing here, but instead... Oh. Let's just take a look at what is going. That's a hunter with a Yaha Ghoul helmet. Oh, what? Did I just miss that? pushing me. Run up the stairs, run back up the stairs to get out into the open, please. 
Oh, you're fast. Boys, all giving me a run for their money. God damn. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can get the backstab this time. Yes, thank you. <laughs> God damn. Good. Same, oh, has the same death noise as me. This is one hell of a 2v1. Excuse me? Oh, he's got the cannon on his back. Right, cool. I should have been able to pick that one out. Man just fucking eviscerated me with a cannon. Good. Good. Proud of him. Claw mark. Right, let's go. You and your goddamn cannon, huh? Got Thor over here. How did that not do anything? Okay, just completely missed. Dude, that has no charge up time whatsoever. Okay, wait. Oh, it's, it's the gun spear. So he's got the gun spear and the cannonball, right? You see how much health that took out? I'm I'm frustrated, dude. I'm frustrated. Alright, um, I'm yeah. I'm gonna take a break. I'm done. I'm done for today. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, I've uh, I've done a lot of exploring and. Um, I am tired, that's for sure. I just like that point where you do like a really long session of Bloodborne, because I've done like uh, a couple of hours of exploring off camera to find some stuff as well, or look for some stuff. Uh, so I'm at that point where I can recognize my own exhaustion and I am just getting killed. Uh, so we're going to continue exploring Yahagul Chapel. Uh, next time, guys, uh, we finished Kanehurst Castle, which is cool, uh, and made some progress, uh, backtracked, found some cool stuff. We look fantastic. I genuinely cannot wait to be in a better state of mind uh, when I come back refreshed, uh, having a rest, uh, and we will uh, we will conquer these uh, these Yaha ghouls and uh, and see what lies ahead. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully next time we find that uh, that key as well so we can actually check out more of the abandoned workshop. I will see you then. Uh, we'll just have to see what awaits us in the next episode of Bloodborne. All right, so third time's the charm, right? As they say, third time, third time down the tunnel, uh, there's a doorway on this little uh, platform, which is very hard and interesting to reach as it's separate from the rest. There is a door here. I am uh, inserting myself in here to explore this doorway as I caught it uh, when I... 
uh, was editing and it was hilarious because I there was a couple of times where I literally just scan over it um, it really does blend in with the environment when when you're moving um, but I'm like okay I'm gonna we're gonna explore this <laughs> we're gonna explore that there's a doorway uh, hidden halfway through uh, the fall to the to the ground so before I move on from exploring this area I wanted to I wanted to include it so let's have a look uh, and see let's uh, have a look and see what this is as soon as I saw it when I was uh, when I was editing the video I'm like I will never hear the end of it I'll never hear the end of it scrolling past the uh, scrolling scrolling past it with my <laughs> Uh, with my character just like, ah, uh, how do I get down? I was too busy on focusing trying to get down to the to the bottom once I noticed. Uh, but let's have a look. Abandoned old workshop. Yo. Holy crap. Look at all of that. Hello. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, what? It's the hunter's dream. Old hunter bone. There's a lamp here as well. <gasps> Third umbilical cord. An abandoned doll. We'll read the description. Small hair ornament. We'll read the description for these items in a second. What the fuck? So this is an abandoned old workshop that's actually in Yarnum, and Hunter's Dream is an exact replica of that. This is where the gate for the way out would be. Oh wow. The gate for the way out would usually be there that's always been closed. There's, there's, like, more buildings here and everything. Even the doll clothes. What the fuck? And there's no pathway off to where... German's having a, having a nap. the hell? Let's read these items, shall we? Third umbilical cord. A great relic, also known as the cord of the eye. Every infant great one has this precursor to the umbilical cord. Every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate. The third umbilical cord precipitated the encounter with the pale moon, which beckoned the hunters and conceived and conceived the hunter's dream. Used to gain insight, and so they say, eyes on the inside, although no one remembers what that truly entails. Cord of the eye, every infant great one, every great one loses its child. And then yearns for a surrogate. The third umbilical cord precipitated the encounter with the pale moon, which beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunter's dream. The hunter's dream is a conception of the great ones. The, like uh, every great one yearns for a surrogate, and then uh, the third um, uh, precipitated the encounter with the pale moon, which beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunters dream 
What the fuck? Old hunter bone. The bone of an old hunter whose name is lost. It is said that he was an apprentice to old German and a practitioner of the art of quickening, a technique particular to the first hunters. It is most appropriate that hunters, carriers of the torch who are sustained by the dream, would tease an old art from his remains. Apprentice to Old German. Small hair ornament. Although it has been lost for quite some time, one can still see signs of the care with which this tasteful ornament was once kept. Its color would stand out most brilliantly against a head of grayish hair. Should I give this to the doll? In the hunter's dream? And what else did we get? We got the bone. We got the umbilical cord. What else did we get? Small hair ornament. What the hell? I I, f I just forgot the I've forgotten the item that I picked out of the. Uh, <laughs> That I picked out of the chest just then. What did I? What did we get out of the chest? Oops. Was it a? It wasn't a piece of clothing, was it? Oh, it's the doll clothes, right? The doll clothes. Uh, a discarded doll's hat, likely a spare for dress up. A deep love for the doll can be surmised by the fine craftsmanship of this article and the care uh, with which it was kept. It borderlines on mania and exudes a slight warmth. So we've got doll clothes. We've got a small hair ornament, which would stand out brilliantly against a head of grayish hair, uh, like the doll has. Uh, we have an umbilical cord, which is, this is insane, this kind of information in here about it. Every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate. Beckon the hunters and conceive the hunter's dream. And then old hunter bone, uh, whose name is lost and an apprentice to German. Um, this is really bizarre stuff. Also the fact that, uh, the doll is actually here. Look at this stuff. This is insane. I can't believe that I I can't believe that I missed this door. Um, I mean, to be fair, it's over the other side and it blends in with the wall. But I have resolved that mistake now with the goddamn blood moon shining on us. Let me return to the hunter's dream from this lamp then. So this is an abandoned old workshop. Is it the abandoned old workshop of German? As it mentions that there's the old hunter, there's the old hunter bone who was an apprentice to German. I must have, what is it? Hand over small hair ornament. Good hunter, I... What? What is this? I... I can't remember. Not a thing, only I feel. A yearning, something I never felt before. What's happening to me? 
Tell me, Hunter, could this be joy? Ah. Tearstone. Dude, this is insane. Uh, Silver Shining Tearstone, used to gain a bl droplet blood gem. Used to change into a droplet blood gem that fortifies any weapon. A doll sheds neither blood nor tears, and thus its nature remains unknown. A doll's not supposed to shed tears, and it shed a, a tear stone. I'm not going to turn that into anything, because uh, same with the gold pendant, because last time we got the red blood gem, we, we turned it into something that was actually needed for something, <laughs> which is which is unfortunate. Uh, damn, that is that is bizarre. That's really bizarre. Okay. Um, is German here? That's here. No. Hmm. Well, guys. The abandoned old workshop certainly holds some information. Uh, the doll now experiences a yearning. The doll now experiences a yearning. Every great one loses its child and yearns for a surrogate. The doll's not a great one. You're not a slug, are you? There's not a slug inside your uh, your dollish body, is there? Hmm. Well, thank you for letting me include that uh, in this video. Sorry that I missed it uh, initially when exploring that tunnel, but here's your little bonus thing that I actually did get it. <laughs> I did, I did get there, and I made my outfit just like look the same as when I first explored. Because I was like, I'm time traveling. <laughs> Uh, make my make my clothes look exactly the same as when I went back there before, so I can so I can time travel. Uh, but alas, um, it is uh, not real time travel because now I can put my original, I can put my clothes back, <laughs> put my clothes back on, um, and then I can uh, give you another farewell. Uh, is uh, guys again? Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully we miss less doors.